Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Count Christo and this is Black Ice in Hot Spine 4. We have uh, crushed our way through Scandinavia, taken out Sweden, Denmark and Norway. And now, going after Hungary. Uh, right, I do want to deploy my, uh, my CAS against Hungary to make it a bit easier. 200 Stuka planes shall fly over Hungary. And indeed, fascists can join the Allies. Good to know. Very good to know. Bad, but good to know. <laughs> Bad for us, I mean. Alright, begin crushing in here. With infantry support. We're just doing a big crush in here. They have uh, only 63% national unity. I grab level 6. It's no deal, no deal, no deal, no deal. And some overruns there, nice. Budapest, well defended. Yeah, not going to get in there so easily. Wow, moving very fast on speed 4. Let's uh, slow it down a bit. We can crush in here. We kind of might as well at this point. They're just using militia, so... You know, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's crush in, get some extra angles on Budapest. Might let us uh, really bring our tanks to bear. Don't do an unsupported infantry attack. That's a very bad idea. Tanks being driven straight back again. It's okay. Still opening up another angle for attack. Still not going very well. Lots of militia there. Won't let me hold them yet. The guys, stop. <laughs> stop. Thank you. Okay, bring all the tanks over here. Infantry moving to fill these gaps. These tanks just move too quick, man. It's incredibly difficult to keep have the infantry keep up with them. We definitely need those uh, those mechanized divisions for sure. Let's have these guys just deploy just onto Budapest. This is the only place we want them right now. We're going to need more military police pretty soon. Let's uh, start training them now. Out of manpower. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more military police to hold, handle like all the France and stuff. All right, you guys get in there. Really? Still? I'm very surprised. Let some of these guys leave, then we'll try again. Budapest is a, like a very high victory point, isn't it? Yeah, 30. So that might be enough to capitulate them on its own. Though this mod definitely adds in extra victory points compared to vanilla, so it may not. We'll see. Don't think one infantry can beat two of their militias. Not right now. Could you hold, please? I'm, you can hear me hammering hold. <laughs> it's a bad supply in Hungary. That's a problem. Mm, could do with some, uh, some air support. Let's put these guys on uh, SBRT and cross air support. Give us some more assistance in here. Maybe a push down here wouldn't be going amiss. Is it because Hungary... No, there's no fort there. I was thinking, is it, is it because they have a fort there? But looks like no. It's opening up yet another front. Get them. Yeah, this time. This time we're breaking them. Wow, look how much damage we're doing to strength. That's crazy. We're really doing a lot of damage to their strength. Normally you can barely notice strength go down in individual battles. We're inflicting serious, serious strength damage against them. You guys, hold. I mean, it seems like they've increased like the minimum length of time you're allowed to be in a battle to like six hours, which is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It makes it a lot harder to correct misclicks, is, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, 230 width versus 97 width. They're definitely going to struggle. They've got more cast than me helping them out, though. We have got it to correct. We have got it to yellow air though, so that's good. Yeah, definitely going to crush in here. Start as soon as we're about to win. We're going to cancel these tanks so they don't uh, don't move from their, their good positions. Support here. Support here. Great. We've got huge reinforce rate. Yeah, forty percent. So there's no worries there. 
Is that hungry dumb? 95%. So close. I guess we'll take uh, Pex. It's a pretty big one. Cross here. And like do a really crossing in force here. Okay, no, this time. Stop. You're not going to cross 2v4. Sorry, 2v7. No chance in heck. But now we've cut these guys off. These guys are going to suffer from very low supply. So I'm going to activate this plan. In fact, send all these guys over here and let's... Uh, let's butch them over here. Seems good. Just crush in. They have very low supply, so if we fight them enough, they'll... Uh, they'll go down for sure. Let's go speed 3. It's not a challenge. I'll do a very slow, like, methodical kind of tactical plays for big maneuvers like crushing in here and like taking Poland is relatively tactical got a bit you know messy but uh, and like big maneuvers against the Soviets I'll slow it down and I'll really be very tactical but for just cruising through guys like this I think it's uh, it's really indicative of how long I've been playing today that I'm you know finding excuses to activate battle plans <laughs> I should stop really let myself uh, recover some enthusiasm for for the micro that's required no, you know what? I'll just seize it. The motivation, that is. But there goes Hungary anyway. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think these backup lines are necessary. Actually. Like we could do with some up here, but I don't know. Let's kill Romania. I think we'll kill Romania, and then I will call it a day for uh, for Hoy today. I think I'm going to go and do something else for a while. I've been doing this for quite a long time. <laughs> How are our tank deficits? It's a Panzer II deficit, but Panzer IV surplus. Well, you know what that means. That means we're going to switch up to more Panzer IVs. Don't have enough. Quite. But we're moving in the direction. So what's the what's the actual ratio now? Because it's three to one. Well, let's just call it three to two to two. It's close enough. We are actually now one point five over. So we could remove. I think it's okay. We're not really seeing ourselves max out combat width very much. I don't think we need forty eight there. Let's put some on the uh, Yugoslavian border. And we should definitely kill... Oh yeah, let's kill Let's kill the Netherlands right now. I, w I said we were going to try and do a, uh, a big tank push against them, but it just won't work. They'll, they'll join the allies immediately. So we'll kill the Netherlands, but not not Belgium. And so we can do it like a huge crush through Belgium from like all sides. I don't want to overwhelm the supply down here. That's the issue. So if you guys could... Uh, pull back out of that supply zone, that'd be great. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Netherlands. Yep, guaranteed by France, so they're definitely going to join. And we're just going to do a quick smash through here. Vastly superior infantry numbers and force and tech, so... Instant retreat all the way along the lines that weren't naval invasions. As soon as these guys line up here. No, you can't join Italy. You're not welcome. Dutch East Indies joined. Unsurprising. Crush in here. Crush in here. That kind of blow, and which means it's finally time for modern Blitzkrieg. Hell yeah. It's going to be great. Get in there. Arahem is being a bit of an issue. Let's attack it from the north. That should fix it. Yep. Then all you guys can just crush down towards the Hagen breeder from the north, but I doubt you'll be necessary. Because I think these guys are going to sort them out before you can have a chance. Elsa Slostringen. This is German territory. 
Alsace claim joined, and Germany demands Alsace Serene Or. We dare not risk war now. Well, obviously, this is German territory. Pretty funny if they just handed it over, because that's literally all of their forts. <laughs> so, I would like it if they just handed it over, but I th think, just maybe, they're not gonna. All right, by Romania. They do have 40 divisions. This might be the hardest one we've fought so far. They've got nice, relatively nice strategic defense, although woods and then I can romp, romp around these planes in my tanks, so. Deploy units. What's ready to deploy? The mech. The mech is ready. Light aircraft nine, mission nine. Justification on Altania is finished. Declare on them. You tanks roam down here. And two of you go here and then straight down here. And one of you two go like this. And one infantry pin there and there and like this maybe they won't join the allies before we can take them because we are tank pushing let's send uh you guys should really go back to intercepting in your respective areas but no over here there we go but the cas we could send down should have done that earlier just to increase our speed slightly with their superiority What's your... You're at 61%, so... I don't think we need to take extra land, but let's do it just in case. Just to make it all happen very slightly quicker. Netherlands has capitulated. New focus. Um... Promote Rommel. Why on earth would you do that by a... Via focus. Uh, don't think we really need any of this. So let's go air production. Spare factories, eh? Well, we're short infantry equipment. Let's open up another infantry equipment line. That strikes me as a, a valuable way to spend a bunch of Dutch factories. And yeah, manage occupied territories. Gentle. Uh, how about the Netherlands? Where are they? There they are. Gentle. Don't want this to cost too much political power. You guys can join this. Unassigned divisions. We've got all kinds of mechanized. Nice. Well, you can come over here, but I doubt you'll arrive before we win. Although, they're holding on here. So maybe. But I hope not. We are just holding here. <laughs> That's real close. You can counter-attack them since they're going to be on super low org. I really want them to be pinned here. These infantry could do that, but may not have time. You guys go in here and here. We have got SPRC. Move this to a more central port. Port? Air base. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Tanks instant move, but yeah, as we might have expected, their uh, Bucharest defenses are not insignificant. Okay, we invented Fug 5 and the better stuff there. Oh, we're not ahead of time for 1940 tech, right? So we can get for uh, Tank and Armor variants, get turn organization, but that means we're gonna have to build tank radios, which might be more expensive. What? Infantry get 15 or more. Definitely do that. And uh, missing equipment production. Yes, we are missing these, which we shall instantly take some off these. Oh, Car 98, we have huge surplus. Cool. Cancel that. Uh, we're producing two a day. Let's bang these out. Why not? And yet, yeah, we've got surplus of infantry equipment guns. That's fantastic. Sorry, not infantry equipment guns, infantry guns. So we'll switch that over. Uh, we might as well put these next to each other at the top. And the sniper team are going to massively nerf the production of that. Uh, we have a deficit of... Are you kidding? Wow. There must be massive attrition if we actually have a deficit of field uniforms. We don't. It's just being strange. Okay. No problem. Can we push in here, maybe? 
Okay, good. Wipe them out. And take Constantinia. Keep pushing. Be great if we didn't have to occupy this area, but we could instead just own it. It'd be absolutely fantastic because it would mean uh, we could get 100% of the oil rather than just uh, whatever amount our occupation law allowed. So basically, what that means is we just have to take Bucharest before they join the Allies. So if we can get the encirclement penalty on it, that would be very valuable. Also looking to Caravia. Oh, that's where Caravia is, as in the Treaty of, which you, you get in-game. Did not know that. Let's keep pushing up through here. Good that we're doing this after the Soviets divided Bessarabia, otherwise it would cause an early war with the Soviets, I think. They justified a war against Finland. Didn't use the war goal, and now they're justifying a new one. Interesting. Um, we need to change the conscription law. 18 to 35. That was not enough. Okay. Well, we'll have to do it again then. Now, come on. Just don't join the Allies before the end of the day. I'll be real upset. Yes! Okay, and better this. And Veteran Army Command. Cool. Romania, Tickle States. Done. Beautiful. Okay, uh, Romania and Yugoslavia, I guess, are next on the list. But... They are to wait. Got our got our mechanized now. I think we'll go after. Yeah, we'll go after Bulgaria first. Because that will let us have a larger front with Yugoslavia. Let us, excuse me. And there's going to be a massive, massive tank push from here. It's going to go down here first, and then across here like so, and absolutely destroy them without having to cross any rivers. Free military factories. I could do more plane production. And we just have rubber deficit now. Um, upgrading mortars is a worthwhile thing to do. Upgrading inf guns, another worthwhile thing to do. Let's do more tank production. Um... Specifically tank 4s. Because they're likely to remain the limiting factor, I think. But I would also like a bit more on recon equipment. Because I want that uh, those upgrade done. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's a spicy oil surplus. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing the whole backup lines anymore, so we should delete them, because otherwise they'll keep getting stuff automatically deployed to them. <laughs> Obviously, it's a, you know, over-large force against Belgium right now, but it's just because we know we're going to want to use it. So let's take some of it and just, uh, create some port defences. Oops. There we go. Oh, no, what's going on? Need one on The Hague, and one on Rotterdam. Good. Uh, anywhere else? I think we've got all of the, uh, all the ports now. Romania doesn't. Oh, no, Romania does have some ports. Um, but neutral, you can't go through it. Yeah. So we don't need to worry about that. That port down there. And now, where do we leave them all? Rotterdam. Can you go back on here? Cool. We could kill Luxembourg. Uh, yeah, there's no actual reason not to kill Luxembourg right now. Gives us one larger tile border with France, but not from their perspective, so it's fine. Low supply down here. Yeah, just because people are moving through. Fair enough. And local infrastructure is pretty damaged right now, so. Let's just move some guys in there. Hopefully, we can get in there before the French have time to respond. And we're going to need to protect against bombers over here as well. Yeah, our fighter situation is pretty freaking dire. But it's likely to remain as such for a while. Because we need... Uh, we're out of fighters. We need that oil. Sorry, that rubber, not that oil. Okay. Um, I think maybe we should do... Uh, a repair speed. There's a repair speed in here, isn't there? No? No, but there is uh, infrastructure construction speed, which might affect repair of infrastructure, I'm not sure. Truck factories, though. 2% factory output. Very valuable. 
Okay, so good. That's changed as I hoped it would. And this one doesn't need to cover the southernmost pile of Luxembourg. Let's put some more guys on the front so they can stay in decent numbers there. Good. Oh, there we go. Attack into Luxembourg instantly, which we're losing. We need to check on that. And they didn't get to join the Allies. That's funny. Seized 1,000 equipment. Wow. Let's send some more infantry, infantry from here onto the Maginot Line. Uh, and most importantly right now, into Luxembourg. I'd really rather not lose this. It's taking a while to get there, though. It should be there in time, though, I think. Yep. Of course, this is the only place that doesn't have forts. So this might prompt, like, endless attacks on Luxembourg. Which, honestly, is only in our favour, because we've got crazy defence here. Although, apparently, I know this. If your defence is higher than their attack, uh, having double their, their attack in defence actually makes no difference. Did not know that. Riemann's video taught me that. That being Riemann's Paradox. He's an excellent YouTuber. You should all check out if you haven't already. Okay, but with the glorious Reich spreading rather a lot across Europe, I'm going to call it a part there. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We're going to uh, going to end it there. So next time, we're going to wrap up in the Balkans. And then, I suppose, the next logical step is France. And I think to mix things up a bit, we, you know, from the historical approach, we might declare war simultaneously on Switzerland and Belgium and have a two-pronged assault on France. One that kind of rushed down here and secured this river and caused them to kind of panic and divert men from the north. And at the same time, a crushing tank and mechanised push. I'm very pleased that Tank Army 1 now has a whole bunch of these glorious mechanised divisions, which is going to be fantastic. But, yeah, it's looking uh, looking pretty good. A while before we need to declare war on the Soviets, uh, even if we were to do it historically, and, you know, we don't need to. I'm pretty sure eventually they will go... Wow, they have a lot of national spirits. Eventually they will go for uh, war with Germany, right? Somewhere here, presumably. Liberate Eastern Europe. Or <laughs> incites a rebellion. That's only if they have a uh, permanent revolution, though, which requires Trotsky. I don't know where their war with Germany focuses. But anyway, everything going well so far. Got a huge, uh, huge empire here. Let's just, yeah, let's just deal with the uh, resistance before I forget. We need no more than one in each of these states. Cool. One that. One that. One that. And one that. Fabulous. Okay, well, I will uh, drop save. And then until next time, everybody, thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. In the next episode, I suspect we'll be mostly focusing on Bulgaria and Yugoslavia, but in the one after that, it's probably France. See you next time. Bye-bye.